Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today I have a project that'll take care of that rainy day afternoon where you kind of just don't know what to do. Well, I've got a project that uses something that you can find in the kitchen as a painting tool. That's right, I'm talking about oil. What? Oil. Yeah, vegetable oil, olive oil, canola oil, you name it, you can make a painting with it. Now, this idea came from a stay-at-home educator, and they put this post up about a couple years ago, and I saw it, and I thought, this is awesome, and i got to share it. So, thank you, a stay-at-home educator, because we are going to bring you oil painting. For this project, you'll need a stir stick, a shallow bin or deep cookie sheet, water, food coloring or liquid watercolor paints, eyedroppers, vegetable oil or other cooking oil, heavy paper like cardstock, a small cup, paper towels, and a work surface protection. First thing I'm going to do is pour in water into my bin. So about a third to halfway full. Next thing I'm going to do is take my fabulous coloring. And don't be shy about this. You really do want your coloring to be deep and rich. I'm going to use red and I'm going to use my stir stick to just mix it up. And if it doesn't look dark enough, add a little bit more. You know, usually I'm saying, don't use too much color, but in this case, you really want to make sure that the color is rich and vibrant. Next, you're going to take your olive oil or cooking oil, whatever kind of oil you want. It can be canola oil, Wesson oil, you know, any kind of corn oil, any kind of oil. Put it into a little cup and using a water dropper, an eye dropper, you're going to suck up a little bit of that, squeeze the bulb and suck up a little bit, and then let your child just put drops of oil all over the water. Now this is a great science lesson right here, and if you go to the website, you will find the link to where this originally came from, and it is a really amazing lesson in oil and water and why they don't mix. So I, I highly, highly suggest that you go to the website to check it out. Okay, so now I've got all my little oil on there and you can see that it's floating on top because oil and water just don't mix. And now what I'm gonna do is take my paper and I'm just gonna push it down and in to that water, all the way down. Now you're gonna need your paper towels. Pull out your piece of paper and place it on the paper towel. And there you can start to see what the artwork is going to look like. Now when it dries, the color will deepen a little bit, but like I said, you really do want to make sure that you get as much color into that as possible. Now once you've got this base, you can also start playing with things by adding a little bit more water and color, let's use a different color. Let's try some yellow. Again, don't be afraid of making it dark. And this is why I've got two stir sticks here and two eyedroppers. You don't wanna use the oil eyedropper because of course it's gonna push that water away. So let's suck up some of this oil, the water, excuse me. And then I'm gonna drop it on. And what's, see, isn't that neat? Wherever there's oil on the paper, it pushes the paint away. This is a great thing for kids to see. I mean, they can really experiment with this and play with this. Isn't that neat? So just use your eyedropper and drop color on top. And have at it and just have fun. If you want to, too, you can also try using watercolors and paintbrush. It's not going to be quite as effective, but let me show you what happens. When it hits that oil, 
does the same thing. It beads off. That's kind of a fun thing to explore. Personally, I really like the eyedropper. And that's all there is to it. Little oil, little water, little food coloring, and you get a beautiful piece of art. And I thought I would just show you what it looks like when it's all dry. Isn't that pretty? Wouldn't that make a great card? You can fold it in half and write on the inside. Now, remember I said you could also mix in different colors. I just wanted to show you what happens when you drop a little bit of yellow paint onto it. Isn't that pretty? And then this is where I actually used a paintbrush. And you can see it still doesn't go in that area where the oil is. For more fun ideas, check us out at sophie-world.com and make sure you check the link down below for Stay at Home Educator because she explains everything about the science behind oil and water and paint. It's really, really cool. For more fun ideas, check us out at sophie-world.com.